So what's the goal of a great listing presentation? Is it to compete with your competitors? Or is it actually to win? You see, the difference about what a great listing presentation is designed to do is it's designed to actually to help you to win that listing. You have 30 of the most incredible minutes to be able to craft a story about what you do as a brand, about what you do as an agent that makes you so different from the others that people go, yeah, that's the exact agent that I wanna make the decision to choose. Do you know how much you get paid for coming second in the listing presentation? Zero. You actually need to be in a position that you win. So how do you craft a story that allows you to win? When being a really good quality real estate agent, you need to understand explicitly the reasons why people make the decision to use you. And don't expect people to somehow kind of try to figure out the reasons why they should use you. Make it explicitly clear. So Mr. and Mrs. Owner, what I wanted to let you know is I've been to work with my last five clients and I just asked them a very simple question about the reasons why they made the decision to use me. And the five reasons why they said they made the decision to use me was because of, and then bang, then you start actually laying out those unique selling propositions, the reasons why people use you. It could be simple things like cross-selling. Mr. and Mrs. Owner, I remember when we had one property in the price range and the marketing actually had to work. Now I'm very lucky, I get to represent five properties in and around this price range, which means I get to meet buyers at different homes and I can refer one buyer to the next home that actually might suit the requirements better than the one they're currently walking through. And that benefits all my owners because the right buyer actually ends up finding the right home to be able to maximize the sale price. Maybe you've got a better quality story about how you bring buyers from higher priced suburbs. Mr. and Mrs. Owner, we find there's a number of buyers that actually go to market X. They're in a position that they try to buy in that area. They get priced out of that area and then they fall back to this suburb of suburb Y and they actually bring a suburb X type price point to suburb Y and they pay a much, much higher sale price because they don't realize there's necessarily a difference in just a few hundred meters between suburbs and locations. Maybe off the back of that, it might be what you do around understanding the digital intent of consumers and how you go to work out with an agent. It could be that you're seriously young. It might be that you've been in the industry for a long period of time and that you have a huge amount of past clients that you can work with on a regular and consistent basis. Maybe you're the largest property manager in the area, which means you get access to more high net wealth individuals than anyone else. Whatever it is, it's up to you to get really clear about the reasons why people use you. We know that inside of the real estate coaching business, the reason why people use me is ultimately because of the energy that I bring to the table and number two, the way that I think. So every single day I think, how do I generate better quality energy? Every single day I think, how do I change the way that I think so I can deal with the most complex problems that my fastest growing clients are going through on a day by day basis to allow them to get to their pursuit of whatever it is that they want to achieve in their own personal Everest. Your job, more than ever before, is to recraft the story, is to change the conversation, is to think differently about what you're doing around the customer experience. We got rid of the pre-list kit, we now all of a sudden send a great video that talks a little bit about the reasons why people make the decision to use us. We go inside of that listing presentation, we don't believe in proposals. What we believe in the ability is to be able to do those trial closes right the way throughout the course of the conversation. We believe in getting logistics handled, photo time, open time, the ability to be able to bring your buyer through time, getting an auctioneer booked, making sure that we can have access to that particular property, even bringing through another agent from the office. And if we get all of those little logistical things handled, right the way towards the end of the presentation, we're gonna have a beautiful summary that covers off on the pricing, the marketing, the method, the timing, the fee, and why us. And once we've got each of those things summarized, then we simply just say, Mr. and Mrs. Owner, it looks like we've done everything, yeah? Well then let's get to it, yeah? Let's face it, you are there with the owner. You've been sitting with them for 40 minutes. You've been building up their buying temperature, getting them ready to buy you as a real estate agent. And right when you get towards that end, all of a sudden you falter and you send a proposal and then you lose the business. You don't do that. What you do is that when you're there with the customer, if you've been building up that rapport, if you've been getting the right questions asked, if you're in a position that you're starting to build that high level of momentum, then all of a sudden you can actually win the listing presentation because they really don't want to see another agent. They don't want another restless nights trying to sleep and work out which real estate agent they should choose. They've actually got you there. But if you don't go with an agency agreement, you don't have intent to actually list the property. Change the way that you think about the way that you do the work, change the way that you actually do the work and watch what happens. The role of the listing presentation is to win. Really hope you've enjoyed our coaching tip. We look forward to seeing you next week.